Have any of you ever, ever wondered why some people are always in a good mood? How they have natural glow to them or how they're always energetic? I have noticed this in people and always wondered why. The answer wasn't because they were multi-billionaires or because they were running on some drug that took away all the bad things in their lives. It was because these people were healthy, though I'm sure being a billionaire would help. Today I'm going to inform you of the knowledge that I have learned from extensive research on how to improve your overall health by touching upon several areas sleep, motivation, diet, and exercise. Some of the areas that I've stated you have probably heard before, such as dieting and exercise. The others, sleep and motivation, however, many are unaware of that are equally as important to improving overall health. First, I will touch upon the advantages of getting enough sleep to improve your health. The amount of sleep, the amount of sleep that is enough and the best environment to sleep in. Getting enough sleep is crucial to a healthy life. Sleep is our body's time to recharge the next day ahead. But sleep is not only for recharging our batteries, it also allows you to have a clear mind the next day, improve your overall mood, and even help eliminate stress. Though sleeping in general is important, the amount of sleep you get and where you sleep is also crucial to your health. How much sleep is enough? <coughs> Many ask this, however there is no perfect answer to the question. Some can achieve REM sleep, which is deep sleep, in within four hours. Others, it can take up to 12 hours or more to complete a REM cycle and refresh the body. But the general answer that is a good one to eat to was stated by Kaiser Permanente, the country's largest nonprofit health plan, which was to get the recommended seven to eight hours of sleep per day. Because sleep deprivation can take a toll on your body and mind. Though this may be more or less than enough for some, it is a good rule of thumb to live by. Where to sleep is something not usually considered by most. Many simply shut their eyes somewhere and not think about it ever again. Many factors keep people from sleeping well. Noise, light, temperature of the room, and the comfort of what is slept on. The best environment to sleep in is one that is pitch dark, dead silent, Cool and in a bed that provides enough comfort to the point where almost the entire body is free of ache. If these factors are not met when someone sleeps, the neurons in the brain can continue to fire and cause the body to stay awake. Next, I will discuss the, ben discuss the benefits of being motivated to improving your overall health and where to get that motivation. Improving your health can be challenging, and doing so alone can sometimes make it even more challenging or sometimes impossible to accomplish. Simple motivation can give you the fervor needed to start the journey to improving your overall health. Motivation can come from anywhere. One of the best places is from someone else. As stated by Kaiser Permanente, partner up, whether it be a child, your child, a spouse, a pet, or a friend, it is always better to have someone help you when trying to improve your health, and it can even make working out fun. When, with motivation from others, improving your overall health is so much easier. <coughs> Though motivation from others is important, sometimes the best kind is from telling yourself that you can do it and help, and thinking that as well. Improving, yeah, yeah, sorry. Both should be done to motivate oneself the most. Thirdly, I will discuss the most basic way to improve your health, diet. <coughs> Though there are millions of diets out there, generally the simplest ones work the best and aren't difficult to do. Many believe that dieting is difficult and cannot be done in an inexpensive manner. The truth, however, is different. It is simple to go on a diet that will not only improve your health, but help you lose weight. The simplest way to have a better diet is to cut out certain foods you shouldn't eat. As stated in the challenge, <laughs> to challenge, cut down on processed foods. Almost all the nutrients is taken out of food when preservatives are added. As many, as many processed foods contain a lot of salt, which can lead to heart disease and high blood pressure. Other things to cut out are soda and caffeine. Soda has an extremely high amount of sugar in it, and caffeine, including coffee, can dehydrate the body. As previously stated, cut out all processed, processed foods. Instead of going out to, for fast food, 
make a homemade meal, spend the time to cook, it's worth it if it can improve your health and even lengthen your life. Instead of soda, drink water or milk. Instead of hamburger, hot dog, eat non-fried chicken or fish. And another good food to eat is brown rice. And that is better than white rice because when rice is refined too into white rice, much of the nutrients is taken out of it. Other good foods to eat are oatmeal, nuts, and beans. Though what you eat is important, how much you eat is equally, if not more, important. When eating meals, smaller is better. Portion control is another way to improve your health. The less you eat in one sitting, the less your body has to work to absorb the food, and the less that is stored in your body as fat. The best way to portion control is to read the label on the back of food package and adjust it to your body accordingly. Because much like sleep, everyone is different and may need a different amount to reach their optimum level. Lastly, I'll bring the subject that people dread the most when it comes to improving your overall health, exercise. Exercise is the one surefire way to improve one's health. However, how a person exercises is as important as the exercise itself. Exercise is not only the key to looking good in a bathing suit, but also to achieve optimum health and even make you feel better throughout the day and for the rest of your life. Exercise is important, but exercising properly is more important. If not done correctly, exercise can do more harm than good. The best way to exercise is at a moderate pace that gets you sweating and panting. Though you should, even though you want to shoot for something like that, sweating and panting, don't overexert yourself. If you can only run or jog a block without sweating and panting, don't do any more until you can build up your strength and handle more. The same goes for lifting weights. Start out small with only a few reps and build up your strength as you go. With me today, I have a chart that will guide you through a good exercise plan. It is simple and doesn't involve anything crazy. The information provided on the chart comes from Dr. Oz's book, You, the Owner's Manual. Try to walk for 30 minutes a day. If you have trouble walking, swimming is a good, is a good alternative. Partake in stamina training. This involves <coughs> swimming three times a week to the point where you're sweating for 20 minutes or out of breath by the end. Lift weights three times a week for 10 minutes a day. And after all exercises, including walking, stretch or do yoga. Deep breathing is also beneficial and should be done in 10 breath increments at, at morning and night. And finally, try to get seven to eight hours of sleep daily if possible. Today I've enlightened you, the audience, on how to improve your overall health through several simple steps sleep, motivation, diet change, and exercise. I hope you enjoyed this presentation as much as I have and hope that this information may help you in your pursuit of a healthier life. Thank you.